Is it possible to live within your means or even below your means in a country like ours? My name is Ruben Kimani. Uh, allow me to take you through just three things that you can be able to do to live within your means. Plan your life. The reason I'm saying this, when you plan your life, put your objective ahead of you. You know what you need to do. And in, in most cases, people will ask you, where do you want to be in five years? What will be your answer? Where do you want to be in three years, five years, and ten years? You need to plan your life. And there are many ways to do that. And I, I always advocate for writing it down. You can look at it from number one. On a family level, where would you like to be? These are aspirations and God will bless you and establish them. Number two, on a financial level, where would you like to be? And this can be coupled with your career and your business life. Where would you like to be in three, five, and ten years? Number four, you can look at your spiritual life and your social life. So number one, you can look at your um, uh, career, business, or financial life. Number two, you can look at your spiritual life, you can look at your, at your social life, and many other aspects that are important to your life. Why am I saying this? The moment you put your objectives or your desires, maybe in lighting, what happens is that you follow them every day so that you can be able to achieve three, five, or ten years plan. And when you have your objectives in your mind, written in paper, and you follow them every day, every month, every year. What happens is that you have no time to follow other pe what other people are doing. They always say the grass is greener on the other side. And that's a human uh, problem. It's usually in human nature to see the other side better than what we see now. And we can water our grass. Watering your grass, meaning following up with your plan, with your objectives, with your desires every day so that you have zero time to follow up on what other people are doing. Budget your income. And this is extremely important in this discussion. Why am I saying so? What is written on paper cannot be forgotten. And what a budget does, it gives you visibility on how you spend your money. Would you be having a salary of 50000 You know how the 50000 will be spent. The moment you do that, you can all allocate money for important things. And I would advise you as follows. 20% of your income should always go to investment. Investment is something that keeps growing every year. In 10 years, your investment will allow you to live a millionaire's life. Right now, maybe you cannot be able to afford that. So at least 20% of your income, a bigger percentage is better, should go to investment. Never spend more than 30% on your income on house rent. This looks like it is unachievable, but the moment 30%, more than that percent of your income is consumed in rent, you are living above your means. You need to change your neighborhood, and there are so many good places you can live with security, with dignity, that can be able to be be, uh, below your means. One of the things that you also have to focus on is to increase your income. As we say living below your means, there are people who save for years, there are people who live below their means for years, yes, their salary is 50,000. I would encourage you to focus more on increasing your income. As you live below your means, that is the baseline. Increase your income as you go along so that you can be able to afford more luxuries, right? Make and that's why number one is planning your life. Increase your income as much as you can be able to, to do that. The last thing I would like to say, don't compete with anyone. That's number three. Don't compete with your friends on uh, lifestyle. Don't compete uh, uh, with your colleagues. Don't fall victim to what is trending. Right now, if you go to Mitandao, if you go to social media, there are things you'll find there. You'll find this person went here, this person went here, this person has this kind of a calm. Please make a decision because it's a decision in your heart and in your mind. 
something that you can decide to I'll not compete with anyone. And this is tied to the first objective of planning your life. You need to understand the season you are in life. Very important as you stop competing with your colleagues and peers. Understand the season in your life. If you understand the season you are in life, you know where to live, the car that you can be able to afford to drive, maybe even the kind of places uh, you can visit. Uh, these can be restaurants, it can be hotels. There are places where one meal is 5,000 per person, but there are places that are enjoyable where a meal can be even the less than 500 per person. You can still enjoy because you are contented, you are not competing with anyone, you are focused on your goals, and you are a serious individual. So to recap, plan your life, very important, have your objectives ahead of you. Number two, budget your income, track your income and expenses, write down, and I would ask you, don't plan in your head, write it down in a spreadsheet somewhere, this day we have even apps for doing so, so that and follow that budget. Writing is one thing and following is another. Follow it to the latter every month. And as long as, number one, you have a plan, you'll be able to do it. And the right thing, don't compete with anyone. Understand the season you are in life. Because by doing so, you'll be able to live below your means. I believe this is quite important to you. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, please share. Tell us what you have learned. What is your take home today? Maybe in the comment below. Also, you might have other tips. Share them below. The other people who are following for practical tips, they want to literally live below their means so that they can live their purpose, so that they can be able to achieve their goals. I believe you have been blessed. May God bless you. Establish your plan. I would like to tell you, you can also do it. Music